Hi guys, Elizabeth here. I got my Play by Sephora box and I've actually tried some of the stuff so I can give you a little review on it. So usually I just, you know, open the box and show you, but I was in the uh, masking mood and I happened to watch Pretty Pistol 86 open her box and she got some masks. So I checked to see if I had some masks. So the Sephora, the Play by Sephora box is a $10 plus tax of applicable uh, beauty box from well, the Sephora company. And you can find this stuff in the box at Sephora. The first item, Beauty Set Go, is the January 2017 theme. Now, this Play Pass, you can get... You can, uh, you know, use this, ask questions. Actually, I think you can just, like, ask questions anyway. But if you purchase an item, I I don't know if it has to be full size or not, but if you purchase an item, you can get 50 extra insider points. This opens up and tells you everything that is in the box or the bag and how to use it. So that's a handy-dandy little cheat sheet. I used to keep them all, but now, you know, since I go through the product so quickly, I just toss it afterwards. So check out this bag. It says, sweat is just another way to glow. And the back of it is actually mesh. It's got uh, kind of like an orange ribbon, a pinky orange coral, I guess, ribbon. So I kind of like the mesh. I am not going to keep this bag. I racked my brains for a reason to use it, but you guys know I just decluttered my makeup bags twice. So uh, I'm just going to donate this bag, but I do think it is super cute. And sweat is just another way to glow. You know, courses sweat, men perspire, women glow gently. The first item we've got in here is the Amore Pacific. I have it on today. It wasn't quite my shade. It's a little bit dark. They gave you two shade options. Instead of your lighter, you can use this one and uh, contour with this one, which I did a little bit. But it's more of a brown contour. Amore Pacific, the Cushion Compact, is a CC cream. It is a lighter coverage. It does have SPF 50. In this little sample pack, they just give a little sponge. So it was kind of hard to use on your face. I did use a brush to go over it. Uh, it is very lightweight. It's supposed to have a lot of, you know, the CC creams. It's supposed to be like BB cream with, you know, extra goodies for your skin. Uh, obviously, I would have to get my color. But it did go on nicely, but it doesn't have enough coverage for me. So, but I'm very happy that they gave us a sample in here. And I know if you like to travel with your makeup, uh, having it in a compact would be, you know, convenient, less likely to mess up, that kind of stuff. Next item, let me pull out, is Way. This is the hair mask. I used this last night. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we supposed to psychically know how to use hair masks? Because I'm reading the directions. It doesn't say to put on damp hair, freshly washed hair, dry hair. It says nothing. My mind is well, well, naturally, you're supposed to wash your hair and stuff, so there's no beauty products in it. Well, I just washed my hair the day before and hadn't put any beauty products in it. I applied this to my hair dry. I have no idea if that's what you were supposed to do. You leave it on five to ten minutes. I probably had it on a little longer. Uh, so I applied the entire tube. It's 0.5 fluid ounces. My hair is, oh, about two, three inches past my shoulders. Now, my hair is very fine and damaged. It's got split ends after the thing. It still has split ends. Uh, but the difference is my hair is super soft. I enjoyed the heck out of this product. Whether I used it wrong by applying it to dry hair or not, I don't know. But it made my hair, especially the ends that are usually crackly and crunchy, super soft. It's They still have split ends. Uh, I don't know if you can even get anything that will like mend your hair because your hair down here is not like really alive anymore but I love this product loved it whether I used it right or wrong it made my hair super soft next item I'm you know I love like just pulling in this basket okay this is an item I have not used it is the Tarte friction stick it is a let me read it exfoliating gel cleanser 
I've had a perfume kind of in this packaging before. Uh, you twist it up, you dampen your face, you put it on your face, and it's supposed to lather and exfoliate. I have not tried it. I am going to. I've never particularly cared for these black colored cleansers. There's just something about the color, uh, and I know it's my mind, not the cleanser, that just turns me off, but uh, it talks about, you know, you can put it in your gym bag, you know, and take with you. I have two uh, cleansings left with the cleanser, cleanser sample I have in my shower, and after that, I'm going to use this, and I will let you know my empties, how it works. So, I'm kind of trepidatious and kind of excited to use this uh, Tarte friction stick. So, I'll definitely let you guys know. Next item is, I have it on today, the Clinique. It's almost lipstick in black honey. The formula feels fantastic. Now, I've just put it on. I don't know the lasting power, but I sprayed I sprayed my face with Urban Decay, you know, makeup setting spray, the all-nighter spray. So, you know, it's probably going to be there. Uh, it feels fantastic feels fantastic so am i am i just rolling this up and and you know showing myself and not you guys look at that black honey but you can see it doesn't come off let me get you up close and personal see it's not the same on your lips as it is it doesn't on the stick it's not that dark on your lips which is good because i don't like super dark lipstick so let's see clinique black honey what else do we have we have more in the bag Usually you have five items and a perfume sample. So, ah, uh, this is from the company Pharmacy. It is their Honey Potion Face Mask. Now, this bottle was completely full up to the top. I have already used it. It looks and feels like honey. It is a warming face mask. When I put it on my face, I did feel a slight warming. It doesn't burn, it doesn't tingle, or at least on my face it doesn't. But the warming sen sensation goes away pretty quickly also. The only reason I didn't use it all up is I wanted to show you guys how it's, you know, kind of like a thick honey consistency. You can see that. I'm gonna, gonna mask my hand as soon as this, <laughs> this is over. When I mask um, with these things, I do my face and my neck and my decolletage, which I have plenty there. So you probably would get three or four if you just did your face, three or four uses out of it. Uh, but because I basically slather the whole front of me, uh, I'm going to get two. Enjoyed this product. Uh, my face did feel softer afterwards. Probably not going to repurchase. I use those sheet masks that work well also. and But it definitely does make your face softer. And the last item, which I gotta be careful because now I have honey on my hand, is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I did spray this and snip it. It smells good, it's, it's a floral, not super heavy, but a little heavier than I'm used to. Let me see if I can find the the notes for you. I'll check the handy dandy sheet. And it says, Fragrance Family Floral, Top Note, Pink Pepper, Middle Note, Orris Root, Base Note, Patchouli. I did like the scent, but there is something in it that kicks up my asthma, so I won't be able to wear it. But next time you're in Sephora, Give it an old sniffy sniffy because it was enjoyable. So that's it. We have this really cool bag, which, oh my gosh, I've been straining my brain to figure out how to use. If you got any ideas, put it down below because I just think it's super cute. The bang, the Toy Birch perfume. If it smells nice, it's just, you know, if I didn't have asthma, folks, I wouldn't have a problem. The Honey Potion Face Mask. The Amore Pacific Foundation, the Way Hair Mask, which made a big difference in the way, like, my hair feels, the damaged part of it. It feels so much softer. The Clinique 
Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. Kind of like a honey theme going on here. And then the, I'll tell you what it's like once I try it, Tarte Friction Stick, which is the exfoliating gel cleanser. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Let me know if you kind of want these reviews. A lot of times, it'll take me a day or two before I can uh, have time to film. If you'd rather me uh, try them out and let them give you a review, let me know. If you'd rather just know what's in the box, let me know that too. Talk with you guys later. Click like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Bye.